Get Jensi back at it again. And listen, the biggest criticism I hear, see Jensi, you're always doing the big cities. You're doing the, you're doing the O'Cops and you're doing the Port of Princes and you're, you're doing the Jack Mails. But what about my small town? What about Ansavo? And listen, I got you. This episode, this on location has me spending the whole day here in this city just because it was time for me to go on day off and check out a city that doesn't get nearly as much attention as it should despite having a rich incredible history we're gonna explore we're gonna see what this city has to offer and i want you to consider it when you're looking to do something different and new consider ensemble normal parce que si personne ne pas le fait à la masse si tu vas passer normal c'est encore mieux parce que ville ça va son ville normal ça qui intéresse la ville ça qui intéresse la communauté c'est parce que c'est une communauté qui paisible et voit la majorité nous respecter et puis on regarde des communautés sont communautés qui vieillent je suis intéressé à un monde qui fait partie de la pêche pour l'implanter dans le business de la pêche parce que c'est un business qui est rentable. So you've seen the footage and the shots. I mean, this, is, this town is, is really as authentically Haitian as it gets. And what really drives an understanding of the importance of cities like these, these off-beaten cities that are often ignored, is the history of these cities. Look, behind me is a church. This church has been around the, the, at the foundation of this city. Unzavo, founded in 1721, when this church behind me completed its construction. That means, that's if you count it right, do the math, that's 300 years that this city has had significance. And you might be saying, oh, it's been around 300 years, so what? This city has seen two Count it, not one, two critical presidents. Fab Nicolas Geffrad served 1859 for eight years. And if you know anything about Haitian history, a lot of turmoil in terms of when the president comes, actually it's still going on. <laughs> and, and when they go, it's eight years, that's a big deal, right? And under his leadership, Haiti flourished with primary schools in addition to being recognized by Rome under Fab Nicolas Giffrad, president, right? And then we had another president, another big president, which we're gonna go ahead and visit uh, his ruins soon uh, of, of where he resided, which was Philip Soud Datsiganav. And he served 1915 for seven years. Now, you may be thinking, wait, 1950, that's, that feels important because it is. That's the year when the U.S. occupation began. So he was the president under the U.S. occupation. That's, that's historic, right? That's two people who really drove the history of Haiti that were sourced from this city that I'm talking to you right now. There's so much more to learn. Let's go. Salut nous, donc moi c'est Marc Michel, le maire principal commune dans Zavo. Donc moi remercie nos propositions dans la commune. Donc commune dans Zavo c'est une commune donc historique qui vient une belle histoire. Et ceci, si vous avez vraiment orienté ou après que c'est une ville qui est très paisible. Côté que donc et nous avons un peu de monde qui est censé intéresser, donc par rapport à quelle que soit façon ou conjoncture pays en vie, donc sur ville là, donc on va dormir en paix et on va attendre des côtés en paix d'attirer. Donc en Savo, c'est une ville qui est censée gagner trois sections communales et plus c'est centre-ville. Donc les gains et première section qui est la section de la Gounoua, deuxième section de la Grande Rivière, 
et il y a une troisième section, saut du baril. Et de 1721 et à 2021, donc ça fait 300 ans. Donc quoi qu'il en soit, pour fêter 300 ans d'existence, quand on va nous faire lancement pour le 1er janvier et 2021, et on va nous faire la continuer jusqu'à juillet et 2021. Donc quoi que c'est le moment pour que tout le monde est invité. Donc euh, toute diaspora à nous, donc c'est le ce moment où on peut exactement venir, venir la caillou, venir fêter ensemble avec nous, venir passer le moment ensemble avec nous. Nous, et moi, des diaspora à nous, tout est ensemble, ensemble, donc juste pour nous tous, mettez main. Parce que développement par la politique, donc développement c'est quel que soit le secteur qu'on y a, ou concerné. Donc pour nous capables de mettre mes ensemble, pour nous faire développement, afin que en savo capable de capable mettre en savo sur un autre rail. And we're in the central place, the central plaza of the town, and it's always always a point to try to find where the central uh, space is in the town, and then see what they have here in terms of statues and amenities for for the local areas. And of course, there's always that chicken. Uh, rooster that's uh, singing right and, and the thing is is that and for a town of 35,000 I must say the central place the central plaza is uh, pretty decent again the central place is a place where you take your friends you want to hang out you want to have a great afternoon it's a lazy Sunday we're talking to you on a Sunday right now and this is just how you know this is one of the uh, biggest benefits of a town like this is really taking advantage of this public space right and that's one thing I, I always want to make sure you understand is, you know, Haiti, Port-au-Prince isn't it, right? I, as much as you can, try to leave it, try to find that town just like this and spend as much of your time recuperating and reconnecting with the country, especially if it's as historic as this city, reconnecting with it, right? As much as you can, while you can, right? Because you don't want to wait till you're 80, you can't do that, <laughs> right? As I sit on top of the former ruins of President Philippe Soud Datiganov's former palace and residence, it really, I have to tell you, it breaks my heart because what you, what you see here is something that's systematic when it comes to Haiti, which is we don't take care of our heritage, we don't take care of our history. When you see something as important as this, and even from a distance you can see that something important was once here, and now you see it in complete ruins and there is no attempt, even a coat of paint has been applied to this building in decades, right? It, it, it goes to show you this one of the systematic issues that this country has and, and, and it's gonna have to, any serious effort to advance ourselves needs to also have a serious effort to preserve what we were and who we are, right? And I can tell you as I sit here, I look beyond and I look at this view I am it's screaming and I am screaming for it that we can do something to preserve this because when you come here and you move around you walk around you ask about the history this is a key part of that history and that not have it in any particular state that can allow you to really appreciate what it once was it's shameful right but in any case that is the good and bad of what it is to be in Haiti. Ça nous capable dire en savoir nous capable encourager diaspora l'autre investisseur venir investir en savoir c'est une zone qui paisible et tout le monde est très très hospitalier pour recevoir un groupe de monde qui veut investir dans pays nous gain dans zone là nous gain terre et ensuite nous gain ancienne maison sud d'Atignav nous gain grotte nous gain et 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 canon yo nous gain et, 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 et Fort Saint-Laurent, nous avons une grotte à Cao, nous avons tant d'autres bagages qui sont capables d'attirer les touristes qui viennent dans le milieu. Et ensuite, nous avons un hôtel, nous avons un franco-ville. Mais nous souhaitons que un pilote monde vienne dans la communauté pour permettre que nous avancions nos travail pour attirer plus de monde qui vient investir dans la communauté. Comme ça, nous espérons retomber positif.
So a detour that's absolutely necessary if you're visiting An Savo is to visit the waterfall of Saint Eve. Now, as you can see, it, it's a it's a very unique waterfall. It's not a large gushing waterfall. It's like small little veins of water that ultimately coalesce at the bottom. One thing that absolutely connects so much of these sort of natural landmarks is the connection between the mystical and a lot of different ceremonies as it relates to Budan happens here as well, right? Now, the water ice cold. <laughs> I, I just came from stiffing my feet in it. And the path to get here, listen, I'm my shoes are my shoes are in my hand. There was no way <laughs> to get through here. And the, there's, a, there's that expression that goes, the, the fun of the trip and experience is the journey. And the journey to Waterfall St. Eve is the very much definition of that. Right? So, it, you know, on Savo, you have the town and you have this absolutely necessary uh, uh, natural wonder to make sure you take part of. Because if you don't do this here, I'm telling you, you're not, you didn't really visit Ansavo. And that's an absolute wrap with Anze Vo. I It's been an incredible episode. We saw so much of what this town has to offer. We learned a lot of the history that this town has. And listen, I am about to call it a night here. I am staying here at the Franco Villa Hotel. And in fact, one reason why you wanna make sure you're subscribed, you wanna make sure that you hit that notification button uh, is when we drop the next episode relating to my stay here you get to get the full details of, of the incredible accommodations that are waiting for you at Anze Vo. Listen guys, this is what we do here at CJNT. We, go show, we drive around, we show you what you're missing out on when you're just grabbing the headlines when it comes to Haiti. Do make sure you, you become part of the community by subscribing. And guys, until we're back at it again, we'll be back at it again. Peace. And thanks to our supporter, Valerie Canez. When it comes to appliances, furniture, and living a quality life, there's no other place to shop than Valerie Canez. I've been a customer of theirs since I moved to Haiti. And when it comes to customer service, a great price, there's no other place in Haiti to shop. And, and here's a real cool thing you guys may not even know. You can be in the diaspora, you can be anywhere in the world, or you can purchase for friends and family anywhere you are without stepping foot in the store. You order online and they'll deliver wherever in Haiti. Listen, support us by supporting them. Thank you guys and thank you Valerie Gattis. <laughs>